Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup on this or Thursday, December 23rd, 2021, Christmas Eve Eve, if you will. Uh, got a little Thursday night showdown tonight, 49ers Titans, uh, should be a good one. Got college football, just kicked off a little while ago, uh, another one tonight as well. More college football Friday and Saturday, NFL Saturday and Sunday. We got a two-game slate on Saturday and 11-game slate Sunday, Monday Night Football, and then a ton of bowls next week. Uh, then we are two weeks from today away from PGA returning. So great time to come check us out, get used to the tools um, that we have for PGA plus the lineup optimizers the green machine, if you will. And, um, you know, all the football we got in the next week. Great time. Use the code cup, get 20% off seven day free trial included. If you don't like it within seven days, you may cancel and you will never get charged. Rate and review us on iTunes. I will be doing some winners, uh, throughout the end of the year. Plus we'll be doing some big giveaways as we ramp up to Daytona 500 and, the Players' Championship, which DraftKings treated like a major yesterday or last year, plus uh, the Masters, of course. Uh, doing that rate and review gets you into all of those. Like and subscribe on YouTube. That is the next best way to get in as well. In the comments, tell me your favorite captain tonight for the Niners Titans. Underdog, link is in the description. Use the code GUP. Get a free dollar-for-dollar dollar match up to 100 bucks. The Gauntlet playoff best ball is up 1 million in prizes 200k to first 25 bucks to enter it'll be open till uh, january 15th uh, should be a good one if you if you're out on your best balls or season long all that kind of stuff it's a great way to get you some playoff action and if you're not used to the app it'll get you familiar with how the best balls work uh, when they bring out the 2022 main season ones as well like I mentioned, Tournament of Champions will be two weeks from today. Smash Factor. I will probably do a pot or two next week. Uh, you know, season preview. Te- not, not season, technically. It's already started. But, you know, big picture look ahead. Maybe look uh, talk about some one and done stuff. Uh, I'll be posting um, the one and done tool that I did last year for you guys. I had a couple people asking about that. It kind of helped you uh, forecast stuff. I will get that posted as well. Uh, so looking forward to that. Go check out carboncontest.com for the carbon cup season long dk contest and their one and done uh you're familiar with those they uh, still ran by josh used to be on our site he now has taken that on to his own platform so i always love supporting him got some great contests up there he did the bowl pickums uh, for college football return this this uh year so glad to see that plus all the nfl stuff he does as well like I mentioned, uh, Niners versus Titans tonight. Niners minus three, over under 44 and a half. Implied score is 23.75 Niners, 20.75 Titans. Eli Mitchell is out tonight. A.J. Brown uh, looks like he will be moved off the IR, and then that will allow him the potential to return tonight, and all indications are he will return and start uh, after he's been out for quite a while with the injury. Prediction for me, I got Niners winning 27-20. I think they'll both look to run tonight. Uh, should have success running the ball. I kind of lean the over just a little bit, but I could see this game being being an ugly kind of slobber knocker, you know, 2017 just as easy. Uh, definitely like the Niners side more than an over-under play. A.J. Brown returning should help Tannehill. Um, but I just, I just I talked about this with Ryan on on the hot route this morning. I, I just, he's just not the same when he doesn't have Henry to, to force that defense to load up the box. Um, we'll see how the night goes. I mean, I'm not counting them out. I think it's be a good close game, but, and, and with Brown coming back, that'll give a little boost to Julio. Uh, you know, the Niners have been banged up, but now they've been banged up for you know a while. And these guys have been playing, have been playing. So uh, I'm not as worried about that. I think Debo and Kittle could have big nights. Um, like those guys, Wilson's cheap because they still have uh, Eli Mitchell in the pricing. He probably will be popular, but I still think you know Debo, Kittle, Jimmy G, probably Brown. Maybe you, I mean a lot of those guys will be up there for captain options. A tight player pool overall, but you know tons of I was kind of mentioning earlier tons of captains that could get there. You know, so a lot of times you can kind of narrow it down to 
you know, two or three that you really like and have a good chance to be in that optimal. But there's different scripts that could turn out, especially for the 49ers. I mean, Debo, Kittle, Wilson, Jimmy G, even Ayuk um, could, could get there. You know, Titans, you know, does, does Tannehill, especially with the legs potentially, can he sneak in there, get a rushing touchdown? Maybe he winds up in it. Um, Foreman should be able to run good. You know, and I like Hillard also, not, not necessarily as a captain, but – you know, I'm down on Foreman just a little bit because of that. I think Killard at 2800 bucks at the flex, you know, he's got that big playability. And, um, you know, I could see him paying off and being in an optimal tonight uh, as well. Obviously, Julio could, could get there. I'd probably lean more to, towards the Brown side. I think your kickers are in play for sure. We're thinking a, a low lower scoring game. I like them better than some of those options that haven't been price adjusted. The Westbrook, the Jennings, Rogers, stuff like that. Well, mainly Rogers and Westbrook, but Juwan Jennings, I, you know, I think at that price, I'd rather go for a kicker, um, especially one at three max. All, all these guys are in play for MME tonight if you're doing 50 plus and stuff like that because it's just not a big pool of players on both sides. You got some flyers in there with, you know, uh, Swam, Fersker, McNichols, uh, Uzcheck. Hasty Michael Pruitt always shows up out of nowhere. This could be one of those TD nights for him. Uh, Sherfield, even 200 bucks there. Super MME flyers, but you know, the core of it's going to be, you know, who do you want to take it captain? If you're going the Titans route, you know, it's you know, probably Brown or Tannehill will be the top two, I would assume. Um, 49ers could be many different ways. Uh, I, I think I lean Debo. Kittle Wilson will be the highest own, and I think deservingly so. Jimmy G may not be a bad one to play because if they spread it out or, you know, these guys get spread out on touchdowns, and he's the one facilitating it. Plus, he's got a little bit of running upside that, you know, he may, may be the, the, the best way to go there. You don't really have to worry about, you know, do I have the right piece? It's more of can he facilitate the touchdowns as opposed to the, you know, maybe Wilson getting a lot of the work there and then just being a little bit different. Um, you, you know, with Wilson being so cheap, you can kind of fit how you want. Uh, and if you like a Hilliard, um, you know, he's, you know, I, I think Foreman will get the bulk of the carries, but that opens up stuff. The defenses are in play tonight. Um, I probably like the kickers better, but it, you know, we've seen any, we've seen all kinds of crazy things on these primetime slates. Nothing would shock me tonight. Um, you know, last week I I'd never in a million years would have said nine nothing Saints. <laughs> so this could be a shootout. You know, these guys get clicking. Tannehill get, getting Brown and Julio now healthy. Maybe that gets them going. You know, and they can kind of go with it. I, I, I lean that's not going to happen. I think the 49ers kind of control the ball, um, control the game. Probably a comfortable lead. Win late. Cover fairly. I don't think it'll be too much of a worry, but I, I do think it'll be a close competitive game with the, with the with the 49ers kind of winning it in the fourth quarter. Should be a great slate in general. Still got college football tonight. If you missed the two game slate, there'll be a showdown there. You got college football tomorrow. Bobby's got you covered on all that. Like I mentioned, the hot route with Ryan, I posted around lunchtime. You can go check it out. We break down the 11 game slate. For Sunday, I will do the coin flip either later today or in the morning, trying to wait on that as long as possible with, with all this potential COVID news. Right as Ryan and I were going live on the pod earlier, the Dalvin Cook news broke. So uh, anything can happen these days uh, with all the COVID stuff going around. Like I mentioned, golf tools are going to be fire next year. The green machines continually getting updated. We've had a ton of good feedback there, and there's still so much more that we have in the pipeline for that. You can use the code CUP, get 20% off, and it's seven-day free trial right now. No risk, yeah, no harm there. Looking forward to golf season kicking back, back off, but definitely uh, enjoying spending some time with the family uh, and friends. Been a long, like, 18-month grind. From last June on, it feels like uh, been nonstop, so um, – you know, definitely enjoying the family. Hope you guys have a great Christmas, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. But I'll obviously talk to you pl plenty more times than that. Like I said, I'll be back later this evening or tomorrow for the coin flip.